uh, schedule on Bates or on the show. So anyway, uh, not a whole lot of stuff tonight, but uh, uh, Wednesday night we're going to have uh, my last show for probably a week, two weeks. And so we'll have a lot of stuff. Uh, if you saw the picture, I will have an OG uh, paycheck repo, man. That's like a $120 bait uh, if you check out eBay. And uh, I got some more Excalibur rattle baits coming in the package, some square bills, some more hard to get stuff. And uh, we're going to have a big time Wednesday night. But we got some stuff tonight, uh, some pretty good deals. You can go down to the marketplace on the bottom right and you can put the pre bids in. So, um, anyway. Not a lot of people on this evening, so may get some really uh, good deals. And what we don't sell, we'll just run Wednesday night uh, as well. So i got some soft plastics. i got some spinner baits, some nickels, some mega bass, uh, some more Norman stuff, um, some Excalibur, uh, OG autograph stuff, a couple Bill Dance baits, Jimmy Houston, Bill Dance, Spitting Image Jr. So uh, we'll go ahead and run a few things. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, what's up? I, you know, got to kill the brand, discontinue the blade. Anything in I got tonight, you can pretty much use on live scope, you know. So let's be a, but uh, let's just go ahead and get some stuff out there. We got 15 guys in, probably the lowest we've had in a long time. So deals should be a plenty tonight. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run. Uh, we'll run a little man's 10 plus. Uh, new in package here. <clears throat> and then we'll run what we can. Be sure to share the show, whatever. I know a lot of people are going to be streaming. So, all right, this man's plus is at $1 right now. Johnson 5.6 is winning it. And everything will ship tomorrow. Uh, I'll get it actually packaged up tonight, and we'll ship it tomorrow. So, $1. Holy cow, OG man's in the package. A 10 plus. It's actually a, a small one. Somebody's uh, Johnson's going to get an amazing deal. Oh, it's now three dollars, five dollars. What's up, Martin? What's up, Chase? Got a little variety tonight. Not just crank baits, we have some spinner bait stuff. All right, Johnson, he's winner number one. Uh, man, I meant to put those on there. I'm just going to go down the auction block, kind of. You can guys can put pre-bids and, and whatever you want to in. Just whatever's good for me to get to. All right, here's two Cotton Cordell uh, lipless cranks. They're in the package. One's a quarter ounce, one's a half ounce. And it is $1 for the pair. And we will start it out right now. What's up, Country Girl? What's up, William? So but the pair of Cordell spots. Uh, this one's half, one's quarter. They are at one dollar, and you're basically a uh, chrome sexy shad and, and like a, a chrome and blue, little orange belly, which is one I really like. So, and we'll do some giveaways too tonight. Tonight, I don't have a ton of stuff, but we'll do a few giveaways as night goes. Addicted fishing, getting a pair for a dollar. All right, thank you, sir. All right, there's some that's got some pre bids. These are two bomber uh, square A crankbaits, like a little lime chartreuse. These are really good baits. A lot of people forget bomber made a little square crankbait like that. So you get two of them, they are at a dollar. Here we go. Johnson's on top of it. Yeah, dude, got those for 50 cents each. Might be a good thing. There's not a lot of people on whatnot tonight. Nathan says he'll have at it. Thank you, Nathan. I I have some square A's somewhere, and Chartreuse Black Back, man, they get bit, especially in dirty water, man. Uh, really good bait. These run really good. Just just a little bit of, like, rust brash where they've been sitting in a tackle box or whatnot. Thank you, Johnson. I'm going to put those in a little bag for you, brother. Three bucks a piece on that is not a bad deal at all. Johnson, he uh, he sells a lot of good stuff too here, so make sure you guys give him a follow. If you're new to the stream, make sure you hit the follow button. I'll do a followers giveaway uh, sometime tonight. Went basting today and had seven muskie. Glad I wasn't throwing balls. That's true. 
All right. So we got some free bids. I got a little Zoom Mag Finesse Worm here. I said I was going to run some soft plastic. So uh, we got June Bug in the Mag Finesse. And there's actually more than 10 in this package. So if you've never seen a Mag Finesse Worm, there's like 20 in here. Actually, that's not a Mag Finesse Worm. Uh oh. We've had a little mix up here. You're going to get Mag Finesse Worms, and there's some Cinco's in here. Uh, Mag Finesse Worm Green Pumpkin, so, yeah. You're getting a little variety, for sure. I didn't know those were in there. You got Green Pumpkin, Mag Finesse Worms, June Bug, uh, $1 for the pack. I guess I should have looked at that. What's up, Drupal Flop? What's up, Bass Fisherman? Barney. All right, I got you. We got a lot of Cinco stick baits too. I've got you know some bulk deals on those as well. Just trying to move some soft plastics out. And if you're a first time buyer, I always send you something free on your first purchase. And that could be more soft plastic. Could be something new. Could be something old. Uh, but just my way of saying thank you. We're not going to be on super long tonight because I got to ship everything. Thank you, Barney. Appreciate it. All right, let's do another plastic steel here. All right, got three packs of stickos here. Make sure this is the right one. Make sure this is the right one. I'll figure out which size these. Four inch. Okay. All right, so you get three packs. Bass Pro Stickos. We've got uh, Mardi Gras, which is like a green pumpkin, purple and gold. We've got green pumpkin, and then we've got watermelon magic. There's about 10 of pack here. So, starting at a dollar. Man, I don't know if you guys follow me on YouTube, but my neighbor always, always starts mowing if I'm streaming in a day. Like, he has an alarm that says, hey, bait man's streaming. I'm going to start fucking mowing. So I got to close my door so we can hear. God, man, it's like clockwork. It's like, I ain't getting no attention. I'm going to start mowing. All right, $1. Yeah, I actually haven't watched much of the classes. So three packs of four-inch stickos. They're here at $1. What's up, Mark? Yeah, I think uh, I think Justin Hammer's got this one uh, wrapped up. I really haven't watched it much. God, this dude has been mowing all day, and he literally was not mowing at all until I started doing this. Dude, Hank just won three packs of soft plastics for a dollar. Good grab, Hank. All right, How about three packs of Zoom Super Flukes. We got Red Shad. Watermelon seed and another pack of watermelon seeds. So let's run that. It's at one dollar. Red shad flukes. Watermelon seed and watermelon seed. So see if anybody else can get a great deal on three packs. Of oh, oops. We have six inches of snow. We can switch. Yeah, I'm, I'm not about the snow. Yeah, I saw G-Man's t-shirt. I mean, G-Man's kind of turned into a little bit of a Randy, you know, but at least he's making money off the deal. Hey, VCAL, thank you so much. Three packs, first time purchase. I'll throw you something extra in uh, your order. All right. We've got some Cotton Cordell CC Shads. Really cool bait. I got three of them. Three of them for a dollar. It's kind of like a cross between a shad wrap and like that bag with small fur. That was pretty cool. It's got a little purple in it. Really good looking. This one's kind of like a hollow shad and this one's got a chartreuse back. So we'll run these. All three of these. Socks for all three. You auctioning trails tonight? Hank, I do have a jerk bait tonight. We'll get some more jerk baits. I've got a kissable reel. I'm gonna do the Tatula Wednesday night, Nate. I, so, 
three of these guys. A little Clinton Cordell CC shed, just some shed painters. I really like that purple one. Needs cleaned up. These came out of a a lot. Live target crankbaits. Uh, Blue Cat guy, I don't have any. Hey, William Pot, did he just get these for a dollar? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Good job, William. Nice snag. Pro show. I wish I had a few live target crankbaits. I, I like the old crawl ones. Those are you know, $20, $30 baits. But guys, uh, if you're new here, I upload everything into the auction. And uh, so you can see um, what I'm selling tonight. All right. Uh, here's some swim baits. This is for the whole lot. I think these are Storm. I'm not 100% sure. There's six of these in here. They're pre-rigged little goby swim baits. So six of these total. I, I just put them in this empty strike king package. Uh, let's run this real quick. Here we go. Yeah, dude, these would kill some smallies. How far the ball is going, hopefully, to uh, the final four. Uh, I think if we get past Creighton, we'll be all right. I actually want another shot at Purdue because I can't stand Zach Eady. He's terrible at basketball. He basically just gets foul calls. Johnson going for the big deal here. Get six of them for a dollar. What's up, Big Malone? Wow. Another steal tonight. One dollar. Make you holler. I'm going to be getting on this stuff. I mean, not a lot of the regular whatnot our guys are in here, and things are going cheap. All right. How about a bag? Let's see if we can fire it up. This is a killer B2. Um, Florida bait. It does have a few few scratches. It's not in perfect shape, but it is a chrome black back. It's Bagley's apostrophe S. Here we go. It's already at one dollar. Two of his bid on it. Somebody has pre-bid this bait. I did find some Excaliburs uh, Chase. I got uh, I got a bunch coming. This should be here Monday or Tuesday. I got another XRK XR50 Royal Shad. Uh, in as well. Also got a paycheck repo man. It's about a hundred dollar top water bait that we're gonna put up here, I believe. If I don't talk myself out of it. Tui, first purchase. Thank you so much. Uh Kurt, I have a lot of six cents jerk baits. Uh unfortunately I do not sell uh six cents here on whatnot because I am part of their national pro staff and it would violate my contract to sell my six cent stuff. So Credits on your first purchase. All right. All right. Here we go. We got a new one here I put up here today. It's got seven free bids. This is a, this one's in great shape. This is an Excalibur Build Ants Fat Free Shad. And of course, the treble hook is hung. Redfin Shed, this was in great shape. This is a deeper diver. This is, uh, I believe, the six. There we go. It's at eight bucks right now. That is a beaut. And I do have, uh, I think I'll have several more of these on the way, too. Dude, I love the rotating treble hooks. Um, you know, some guys like, like them. They pay good money for them. They absolutely hook fish. I think you guys can see why people really like this bait. Uh, there's not a lot of paint jobs out there anymore that are like this. Of course, this is a, a fold-like sticker. Nathan, congratulations, man. Congratulations. What do I think about Kentucky choking in basketball? Well, I'm not a Kentucky fan, but I kind of saw it coming. I mean, they weren't, I don't think they deserved a three seed. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's run one of these. How about a deep little end in lavender shad? Old school. My favorite colors ever made. Deep little end. Got that purple. Does have a little dot here. Been in a tackle box. Now, vector hooks do not buy Excalibur. Why is this guy mowing his yard again? Here we go. 
Deep little end, lavender shad right here. Classic free prad coat bait. Why is he right next to me? Wow, one dollar on the deep little end. That's very possible. Yeah, dude, this is a fish catching color. We got 36 people in here. Felt like everybody decided to stream at six to seven tonight. That's okay. It's all good. Just better deals for people in here. I've got another one of these in Lavender Sheds. How do I turn it on where I get notifications when you come on? Uh, so you go to shows. Like I got one scheduled for Wednesday. Thank you, Nathan. Another first purchase. If you'll go to fishing and then go to shows, like I got one for Wednesday, you can click that little bookmark button and it'll give you a notification. Give you a little notification. Uh, you, I usually post on Instagram and Facebook when I'm going to do this as well, but I didn't. That's not. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Here's another deep little end. This one's called Tropical Shad. I always remember this color. It's kind of like a turquoise. Got that gel coat, orange belly. God dang. I just mowed this morning. Yep, and if you follow and if you like click my name and follow host, you'll get notifications as well. J Lo fishing. God, I hope that is Jennifer Lopez. That would be amazing. Got home for Baron. I wonder how they bit today. Lots of blue skies, Chamber of Commerce Day, and some wind might have made it tough. At least here on Kentucky Lake. J Lo, goodbye. First purchase as well like these guys are getting in their first purchases today. There's some free baits to be sent out and shipping. All right. Let's go on auction block. What's up, banana hands? Let's do another, uh, let's do another Norman. Uh, let's see if we got anything with some bids on it. Anything with any? All right. Build the hands. Fat free guppy. This one's in pretty good shape. Uh, someone's put a clip on it. It's a little fire tire holographic. There you go. Gator bait cards. Interesting. Gator bait cards. You interested in buy, uh, buying a Prism Wimby? I got one. It's not a silver, but I'd sell it pretty cheap. And a case hit Julio Rodriguez heavy. Lumber just got ripped that one the other day. All right, another build and bait. Uh, I am probably going to run a spitting image here in just a minute. Thank you, General. Yeah, I got a lot of sports cards I need to get rid of too. All right. A shad pattern deep little end. This is a nice one. This is an older one for sure because uh, the old versions have Norman stamp. It's kind of like a man's double stamp, but they only stamp them in one spot. All right, here we go. Deep little end. Nice, kind of a Tennessee shad pattern, shad gray back. I wish he went mowing so I could open my door up and I could get some better natural light. Uh, but then y'all hear a freaking mower. Thanks for all the following. We're gonna, after this bait, I will set up a, a little follower giveaway. We're running a follower giveaway, okay? Nathan, thank you so much. It's uh, your second dub of the night. Yeah, I, uh, Got some good stuff coming. Got another Booyah Boogie Blade new in the package. I think it's old. All right, let's set up a giveaway here. Uh, set up some giveaways here. I think going down here. Set up some giveaways. And 
No. Yeah. Give me just a second, guys. I always forget to do this. I've been pretty good lately about it. Come on. We're almost to 1,500 followers, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we're going to do at least two giveaways tonight. I'm going to go ahead and set this one up. We're going to run giveaway number one. So you got five minutes to enter. And uh, I don't have any big swim baits tonight, but follow me Wednesday night. I've already scheduled the show Wednesday at like 6 o'clock, 6.30, something like that. Uh, follow me. I, I may have some big swim baits. But, all right, let's keep on running the auctions here. How about uh, a little hot lips? This is a quarter ounce. This is a pre Rapala. Pre Rapala hot lips. A little chartreuse, kind of black back. Got the little dimples on the bottom. So that is definitely just run one in a bag on a wall. Yeah, I wish. I'd have to start this bullshit at like $180. So I don't think anyone's going to bid on it. Johnson, he's all over these little hot lips. I do have some speed traps coming though, some pre repel speed traps. These are great little brush pile baits. Johnson, thanks, man. The dollar deals are here tonight, guys. Uh, some of these, some like this usually is sell for six, seven bucks. Yeah, big baits, big money. Jerk bait. All right, I'll run this jerk bait. This is a uh, old school Mark Sosen Excalibur uh, minnow. It's basically a long A. It's a bomber long A, but the Excalibur. Uh, there you go. We'll run that. I'll have some more jerk baits. I'm gonna put some rogues and stuff on here next week. All right. So Wednesday be will be the last bait man stream I do for at least a week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh it'll be loaded. I'll have a lot of things, some high dollar stuff. I have some more bargains if I can bargain them. Uh, so you guys let me know if something you might want to see Wednesday. I'm going to put a die with Tatula Real on here. Tatula 100. I believe it's a 631. Yes, I'll run the OG Lucky Craft. Um, you guys let me know what you want to see. Thank you, General. General, you're getting a good collection of the Pro Autograph stuff, man. I've got some more of these as well. These Mark Sosen baits are really good. They made them with Van Damme's name on it. Doesn't affect the bait. It's just, he's on there. we got 40 guys in here, guys. we got a giveaway. If you're following, so hit that follow button and enter that giveaway. Actually, all you have to do is enter a giveaway and it says follow host. All right, we're going to run this Lucky Craft. So one thing I, I'd like to tell people, you see a lot of guys, especially on Whatnot, selling Lucky Craft, and that's fine. They're good baits. But you start seeing them in the black package. This is pre, I would say the black is pre-2009. Uh, usually from about 2004 to 2009, they were in this black package. Uh, the ones that have USA series and there's a the big American flag, those are the ones you're finding in all these and the discount stores and stuff like that. You know, you find them in the black. Yeah, they're an older bait. So this is a Flash Minnow 110. I don't even know if they make this color. It's Aurora Pro Blue. But we're going to run it. The old Pro Tune series was also in a silver package. So, all right, she's running. She's at eight dollar. And we got forty-five people in here. Thank you so much. I, right, you know what I'm going to do after this? We're after the giveaway. We're going to run this Kistler reel. It's a good reel. Just needs some. It's kind of dry. Probably needs to be greased up. Caught a lot of fish on this thing. But uh, I'm going to buy me some more Shimano, so I I'm kind of selling a few reels. Nathan likes this bait. Thank you, Nathan. You got it, man. All right. 
This uh, this is a Kistel reel. I think there's 17 pounds sunline on here. I would probably strip it off with some new line. It is it's pretty light. Got your adjustable adjustable drag here. It's a good reel. They sent it to me to test and try out. Said I like it, and I fished it quite a bit. But it's a little dry. Hey, no problem, Nathan. No problem. Um, it's a good reel, and it is a uh, seven to one. 7.3 to 1. So we'll put that, we'll, we'll move this reel real quick. It's not the new Chromium. Uh, it's about two years old. Uh, it kept in good shape. All right, here we go. It's at $16. Make you holler. Yes, sir. John, 1967, you won the giveaway. Congrats, John. I'll get you a free bait out. It's definitely still smooth. I've caught a lot of fish on this thing. I'm just trying to go all Shimano. I'm gonna move some die was probably gonna move my die was off whatnot. Bass for fish. He's 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 thinking I'll take it. Oh, well snipe. I don't think these are really expensive reels, but they're it's solid. You know, I've definitely fished with worse reels. Bass for fish, first purchase, man. I, I believe uh, I'll get you a little bait. Uh, to put with your Kistler reel, man. I appreciate that. Matter of fact, I'm going to put it in this box over here. I'll probably ship it. I'll probably put that in a little six cents bag to protect it, and I'll put it in a box. All right, here we go. Let's, how about an old school Pose? A Pose RC3. No hooks on this one. This is in great shape. Great shape chartreuse black bag you know it's got that coffin bill Put some troubles on this guy what's up testing <clears throat> somebody's trying to get a deal on this guy i don't know if you've ever thrown this but this has a wild action in the water like it's got a tight wiggle but it really kicks hard if that that makes sense and that coffin bill really deflects off the cover especially with that angle so everyone talks about square bills and deflect but a lot of it is the angle of the bill landfill duck congratulations man been a while good pickup all right who wants to who wants a spinner bait let's uh, let's let's roll a spinner bait real quick Trying to get a decent variety. I am going to sell this Wednesday night. This is a Bass Mafia blade coffin. Uh, I've just gotten a better storage solution for myself. All right, Mega Bass V9, $20 spinner bait. $20 spinner bait. Wow, already bit up. At twelve dollars. This is a great, great color. I don't know. It, it's kind of like a white silver. Got the silver blades. It's a V nine. Man, these things run really, really good. And you can see, there's what I end, I paid for it like a year to go twenty one ninety nine. And they, the only thing I've got against the JDM spinner mesh, they usually got a really small hook, but that V nine, the hook's a pretty decent size. Yes, you can burn this thing really fast. And I like that the skirt is trimmed. J-Lo Fishing, congratulations. You got the Mega Bass. All right. How about a War Eagle? Blue Shad. Great one right here. This is not a Screaming Eagle. This is just a regular War Eagle. It is out of the package, but I don't think I've ever used it. Here you go. Is it? This is just a fish catch. And one thing I always liked about War Eagle, I love how they do their skirts. So there's really no need for a trailer, but you can put a small trailer hook on there, which I do on all my spinner baits. I always put a trailer hook on there. You catch so many fish just off that back hook because they're wanting this, the trailer you got. Mm -hmm.
Resist caps. Good job. Your first purchase, man. Thank you so much. I'll throw you something extra in there. I mean, I've caught a lot of big fish on a war eagle spinner bait. Only downside to the old war eagle, you don't always hold up. All right, let's see here what we got in the auction block. I know I've got a package of like five plastics. Uh, here we go. Let's do this uh, DD22 here. Well, we were going to, but I can't find it. Oh, okay. I found it. Norma DD22. Chrome blueback. A classic deep diver. And she is stamped Norman back here. Buzz baits, man, I didn't load any buzz baits tonight. Uh, I'm going to go buy a bunch of skirts uh, one afternoon this week. And I'm going to get a bunch of buzz baits skirted up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to re skirt a bunch of. Stan Sloan spinner baits. I'm going to sell a big lot with a spinner bait box on here. Hard to beat a DD22 for a dollar, but I think Joe's going to get it. There you go, Joe. Great buy. Great buy. What's up, Team Ugly? All right, the next thing we're going to do, we're doing a little Strike King Balsa. What do you got for pond fishing? Man, uh, go over to my auction. Thing. Any of the small crankbaits are good for pond fishing. The Sticko Young Dinger Lot, I got five packs of those. Uh, this is Strike King Balsa King crankbait. It's like a metallic silver blue back. Uh, this is a dancing shad for those uh, who don't know. Bill Dance used to really promote this bait a lot. Cool bait. Somebody trying to get a deal on here tonight. This would be a good one to get. A lot of guys kind of collect these. I, you know, I was kind of blown away at some of the prices I've seen on these on, on eBay. I'm going to try to get some Bateman decals in, too, after I get back from vacation, guys. So, you know, if you spend like $10 or more with me, I'll send you a decal. Landfill Duck. Thanks, man. All right, uh, let's see what else I got here. Let's do these. Somebody said pond bait, so we're going to do five packs. You got uh, plastics, and that's a lot. So we've got one pack of dingers. This is yum dingers, too. So one, two, some stickos. Uh, some more yum dingers like this is like a green pumpkin green this is a watermelon seed this is this one color bluegill a bunch of watermelon red you know what these are stick baits too i just sold some mans i actually got some mans uh mosquito hawks here i need to add those so Basically, you're getting six bags of stickos or young dingers. And now we got this started at one dollar. So six bags of stick worms, and somebody's put like 25 baits in these. So I would say you're getting close to a hundred Cinco style baits here. That's it. A whole giant handful, basically a pound of plastics here. I'm going to put it in its own box. Less than a dollar fifty a bag. A Nike nine or ten, great deal here. Look here. Just stick them all in here, ready to ship for you. There you go. What was that? Oh, we can't sell that. All right. Uh, 
good deal on that. Let's see if we got any more. All right, here we go. Here's a nice classic. You can hear it. You know what it is. A Jimmy Houston Excalibur Super Spot. It's like hollow red, orange. Here we go. These are kind of hard to find. But man, listen to these. One of the loudest rattle baits you'll ever find. General is all over it. And it's got the nice TX3 Excalibur hooks on it. This one's in mint shape. Congrats, General. What's up, Tay White? All right, uh, let's keep going down here. We got another pre bid on a Norman, so we'll run it. A little deep little end in chrome black back. Just needs cleaned up a little bit. But it's at a dollar. You're not going to find too many at that price right now. Johnson, he's going to take it. Got just a little bit of what I like to call rust rash, where they sit in a tackle box. It gets a little rust in there, and they get on the plastic. You can clean that up with a toothbrush and some 409. Hook's probably not perfect. The back hook's got some rust on it. You should give them a nice tetanus infection. They don't come off. Remember, guys, bookmark my show for Wednesday night. We're going to have a lot of a lot of good stuff, like hard-to-get baits on there. We'll put that repo man up there as well. Thanks, Johnson. All right, I'll go through the auction block, and if there's anything y'all want, let me know. And I'll get all this stuff ready to ship out. All right. How about another deep little end? This is the last one I got in Lavender Shed. This one's kind of old school. If you notice, the patterns, scale pattern's really thick. This is an older one, probably one of the first generations of Lavender Shad. Here we go. One dollar. I like the thick scale pattern myself. It really makes it stick out. It's crazy how that gel coat, that purple flake on camera really stands out. In fact, Lawnmower Man is done. we we'll get some better natural light in here. Oh, yeah, much better. Thank you, Lawnmower Man. Sigwig, first purchase, man. Go Fins. I'm a big Dolphins fan. Devil's Horse, man, I don't have any tonight. I, I don't know if I got any I want to sell, to be honest with you. I got a couple, but I don't want to sell them. Not tonight. Thank you, Sigwig. All right. Let's run a little, a little rebel action. A little deep we are. Just a chrome black back deep we are. I'm fixing to send my wife on here if she don't get off the phone. All right. <clears throat> All right, little rebel deep we are. A little classic crankbait. Man, everybody wants to interrupt me now. I can't just sell baits, baits in purpose. Probably need to change the hooks on this. It's really not in that bad shape. It's just that those rusty hooks make it look pretty bad. Just a classic crankbait. It definitely catches them. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Nathan, thanks again for your purchase. I usually try to put all this stuff in a little bag. helps me when I'm shipping. Sometimes I might combine them. All right. All right, we got a little Cotton Cordell CC Shad in here. I'm going to run this one. This is a Chartreuse Blueback. Someone bought all three for a dollar earlier. Thanks for following me, Bobcats Bargains. A lot of good deals tonight. Some of the stuff you've been seeing is selling way below what we normally sell it for. Always a good deal when the the bait hoarders, uh, the collector guys, have decided to take the night off. So 
I want to jump on some other streams tonight as well. This one's a cool one. Chartreuse Blue Blueback. I hadn't seen this one. Still got sticky hooks on it. They got a little rattle to them versus like a shad wrap. Movement's uh, first buyer. Man, we've had a lot of first time buyers tonight. Appreciate that. Oh, always send my first time buyers something extra. Just my way of saying thanks. And sometimes I send normal buyers something extra. If, you know, I feel like it. Uh, what else we got here? All right. Discontinued spinner bait right here. Those who know, know. This is a Hildebrandt the blade they don't make these anymore really popular bait this is a half ounce fire tiger let's roll this so i have a feeling someone's going to get a deal because probably a lot of guys don't know the rarity of these things really good bait don't find these in the wild very often what's up coach kerr is your name steve kerr what's up garrett we're going to run a follower giveaway here in a little bit. Trevor's going to take us down. Good deal, Trev. Golly. Thank you all so much. I'm from Center Hill. It was heavier. I'd be all over. I hear you. Center Hill is a great lake. All right. What all we got? Let's do a little Rapalas Shad Rappy. Let's do, let's do some Rapalas. Let's just run some Rapalas real quick. Here's a Crawdad number five, Finland. So this is the smaller shot shad wrap great color uh, the finland ones have those scales and they almost have a gold size the new ones are really just orange i got you i know where hurricane marine is at i really like center hill when the top water bites on usually like mid late april it's a really good top water lake i much rather fish center hill than the gar hole that is old hickory jlo fishing thank you the deal on shad wrap all right we're gonna run this next one so finland shad wrap pearl yellow top on it need some new hooks it is a finland model yeah, man, lots of first-time buyers tonight. I, I really appreciate you guys. And I think you got on a good night to get some good deals on some of these baits. We'll have nights where some of this stuff blows my mind what they go for. Some nights, you're going to get good deals. J-Lo, going to grab you another one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and run the next Rapala. There's another Rapala, Shad Rep 07. It's kind of that, that full finish black back. It's basic, I think they call it Shad or Silver or something like that. What's up, Big Cat? Iceman. Well, I'll probably be off before that. You know, Wednesday night will be the big one. Thanks, William. A dollar on the shad wrap, guys. Whew. It's always nice scoring them deals. I look for the deals too. You know, it really bothers me, like on whatnot and sports cards, guys. If something doesn't sell for what they want it to, man, they get really upset. And I'm, I'll be honest, I've made several. I've made some money on my estate sale so if you guys are buying everything for dollars not hey that's awesome um dude congrats to justin hammer good dude really good live scope a really good jerk bait fisherman um and you know everyone talks about live scope and whatnot dude if you don't know how to use it it ain't gonna matter if you got it or not i mean we can all be randy block it we can all cry and wine and what things banned and this and that and and we can talk about how much it costs but you know what if you don't know how to use your equipment whether it's rods reels baits line it doesn't matter how expensive it is or how cheap it is you're not fishing where the fish are it doesn't matter the tools you got so 
we get really tired of these people that are just they they think well we're going to ban live scope and all of a sudden all the old people are going to win again i think that's wrong like dude king griffey jr grace to ever play in my era my generation of baseball uh go put him out there with an aluminum bat he's still not going to be what he was you know what i mean but, I mean, still great. Eventually, people get old. Eventually, people's skills deteriorate, whether that's casting or even reading maps, stuff like that. Yeah, Fujita's a great fisherman, too. And I think that's where some of these guys are missing the point. This new crop of fishermen, they have had access to better baits, better rods, better reels, better information. When I was growing up, there was no YouTube. There was no podcast there's no instagram for me to learn to offshore fish i had to actually go and do it i couldn't just go on youtube how to fish ledges and find 500 videos and find the best ones and oh man i got a feel for it get you a little bit more confident going out there so ever heard of cisco kids what's the years they were made possibly yes i've got a couple cisco kids um uh, i don't know the years as far as the value on them, they really vary. I've sold some on here for four or five dollars. I sold one for about ten or twelve. I've got a big giant one up here hanging up. So yeah, man. Absolutely. What's a topo map? It's a, a paper map. Uh a paper map, man. And it's got the topography. Man, you should learn that in like high school uh geography class. Topo map shows the elevation changes and everything. So all right, I'll, I'll get on my rant. We're here to uh, sell some baits. I I didn't get to listen to Mark during the class at Gravy. I was uh, I was working. He texted me saying, "I'm fixing to be on Bass Live," and I said, "I'm fixing to paint some metal." What's up, LFG fishing? Tennessee versus Texas was a great college basketball game, by the way. Dang, we ain't got it. Let's go to auctions here. Dang, is that all we got left? That ain't right. That ain't right. We got to have more stuff left. Maybe we don't. Wow, this was a quick night. All right. I got a Nichols Full Sader Spinnerbait here. I told you guys this would be a short night. This uh, it's a variation of Clint's Shad Spawn, but this is a great dirty water bait. Yeah. If I buy a bait, will I sign it? If it's not going to ruin the bait, like I'm not going to sign no Excalibur bait or something like that. But I will. I'll send you a little something. I can sign. I'm sure. I'm. I'm a nobody. I don't know if Nichols even makes this color anymore. But I bought a couple of these and I've caught some good fish on it. Really sneaky color on an overcast day. But really good and some dirtier water where you don't want a Colorado blade. Hey, Barney, congrats, man. This would be a super pond filler. Right. Man, I could have swore a little bit more stuff, but maybe I didn't. All right, I guess this is the last thing we got tonight. This is Excalibur Spitting Image Jr. Got the build ants. And the Jimmy Houston logo on it. Here we go. Yup, this is a really, really good one. I got a new one in Sunfish in the package as well. Man, I thought I had more stuff up here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. But Wednesday night, we're going to have a banging stream up here. We're going to have some Excalibur baits in the package, some bandits. Several lipless deals. We'll do some jackhammers. General Gob, thank you so much, man. Seven bucks. That bait right there sold last week for almost fifteen dollars. So that is awesome. All right. I'll tell you what, we'll run another giveaway real quick. I got some stuff I need to move. I tell you what my giveaway is going to be, guys. I know it's not 
really crazy, but we're going to do a giveaway on this old school Norman. Uh, it's just a little end, not the deep, just an old school Norman little end. That'll be our giveaway, our second giveaway tonight. We'll go ahead and run it. So, dang. There's another. I guess I forgot to list a bunch of stuff. Check this bait out. I'm not running this Wednesday. This is not a Rapala. This is a, and it's a little beat up, but it's a balsa bait. And this is actually a Mr. Twister, uh, like almost a Shad Wrap 9. You can actually look at under the bill and it says Mr. Twister. That's really cool. I haven't seen very many of those. So we'll, we'll probably run that Wednesday night. We got some random stuff in here. Might send us some free packages. Got a bunch of rattle traps we're gonna have Wednesday night. Tell you what, I'm gonna spice up this giveaway just a bit. I'm I'm even going to include the giveaway. I'm gonna include a little old school built quarter ounce trap with that. So you got a fire tire bleeding trap in there. So. To enter the giveaway, you'll go up there, hit enter giveaway, you'll have to be following me. TNT Outdoors in Mount City, Tennessee. Interesting. I wonder where that's at. I'm go you know, I'm going to uh Gatlinburg Pigeon Forge leaving next Saturday, gravy. I I'm gonna try to challenge my wife to some flea markets and see if I can score some tackle. Sure, I can. Hopefully. Well, I'm going to throw these young beers. Someone just got a really good get. Two hours north. Okay. I'll look it up. All right. I'm not going to wait on here forever for the giveaway. Uh, we got 23 entries. Someone got out of the giveaway. Okay. All right. We're going to go ahead and run this giveaway and I'm going to get off here and I want to get to shipping some stuff. All right, we'll draw the winner. Here he goes. Winner is J Long one 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 three. Thank you, J Long. Got you a little giveaway. I'll put this all in a package. Short show tonight, guys. But I've already loaded Wednesday. Uh, you'll see the Repo Man on there, and uh, you know I might even put some minus ones on there. Uh, but Wednesday night, probably be a pretty long stream. I'm going to start at about 6 o'clock and go to about 8. I got, I'm going to have a Tatula reel on there. I might put a Tatula SV. I'm not sure. Um, probably some Bass Creek swim baits. Anything you guys are looking for, send me a message here on whatnot on Instagram. We'll try to throw it up. Maybe some old school soft plastics like some of these mans. I got some old jelly worms and auger tail worms, things like that. And uh, definitely have some more cranking stuff. So you guys have a good one. Thanks for the show. Thanks for joining in. Thank you to the new buyers. And we're going to go raid. We'll go raid somebody. Let's go raid Bass Fisherman. He's a good dude.